Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got some jaw-dropping news to share with you. In a stunning turn of events, Donald Trump has won the US presidential election, securing a second term. That's right, folks. Trump triumphs once again. Now, let's break down how this all went down. Trump managed to secure key victories in battleground states like Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, pushing him past the 276 electoral votes required. Kamala Harris, despite a strong campaign, couldn't quite close the gap, even with wins in states like New Hampshire and New Jersey. Trump's victory speech was something else. Instead of the usual policy promises, he chose to praise his campaign managers and even gave a shout out to Elon Musk. This win isn't just a personal victory for Trump, it's a huge boost for the Republican Party too. They performed exceptionally well in Senate and gubernatorial races, although Democrats did manage to hold on to some key Senate seats. This election has really highlighted the deep divisions in the country. Issues like abortion rights and economic concerns were at the forefront of voters' minds. It's clear that Trump's victory is going to have significant implications for American politics and policy in the years to come. Now, let's talk about what this victory means in a broader sense. Trump's win is being seen as a resurgence of conservative populism in the United States. With a Republican majority in the Senate, Trump is set to push through his policy agenda with relative ease. He's promised a golden age for America, focusing on restructuring the federal bureaucracy, implementing tariffs, and ending foreign wars. Despite facing numerous legal challenges and controversies, Trump's support base remains strong, especially on issues like immigration and the economy. It's clear that his actions during this term will have a lasting impact on American governance and the country's political landscape. One of the most pivotal moments of this election was Trump's win in Pennsylvania. The state, with its 19 electoral votes, was a major battleground, and Trump's focused campaign efforts in areas like Allentown really paid off. Meanwhile, Harris targeted cities like Scranton and Pittsburgh, but couldn't turn the tide. Pennsylvania has been a swing state in recent elections, and this time, it swung back to red. A big shout out to Republican activist Scott Pressler, whose voter registration efforts across the state played a crucial role in this victory. So, there you have it, folks. Donald Trump is back in the White House, marking a historic comeback. What do you think this means for the future of American politics? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged.